The highly anticipated matchup between the Pittsburgh Steelers and New York Jets on Sunday night not only features two legendary quarterbacks in action, but also a slate of inactive players that could determine the course of the game. With stars like Alex Highsmith returning and other key players like Roman Wilson out, both team strategies will be deeply impacted. Let's take a look at who's out and what it means for both teams. Don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe for more Steelers news. Are you ready for two of the NFL's greatest quarterbacks to clash in a clash of the Titans? Russell Wilson and Aaron Rodgers, two future Hall of Famers, are set to lead their teams in the big game. But before we dive into the expectations, it's crucial to understand how the absences on both teams could change the course of the game. Who are the players out, and how could that impact each play? This will be a battle where every absence matters. On the Steelers' side, the loss of young Roman Wilson raises questions about the depth of the offensive line. Meanwhile, the Jets are struggling with a depleted defense. Without DJ Reed and Michael Carter, the Jets' secondary will be depleted, something that Russell Wilson can exploit. Will these losses pave the way for a primetime win? Russell Wilson has been leading the Steelers' offense effectively, but the absence of Roman Wilson could limit his arsenal of targets. Roman was emerging as a dynamic receiving player, offering speed and versatility. With his departure, the burden falls on George Pickens and Deontay Johnson, who will now face a Jets defense that, while depleted, still has talent. This absence could force Wilson to adapt quickly, exploring new options like tight end Pat Fryermuth, especially in red zone situations. Without Roman's ability to stretch the field, will the Steelers' passing attack continue to flow, or will we see a greater reliance on the run game? Alex Highsmith's return is undoubtedly one of the big news for the Steelers' defense. After missing a few games, his presence on the field will give a huge boost to the pressure on Aaron Rodgers. Highsmith, known for his ability to invade the pocket and force mistakes, could be a decisive factor in controlling the game. With the Jets' offensive line depleted, Highsmith and TJ will, will have an easier path to pressure Rodgers. If they can consistently collapse the pocket, it could be a long night for the Jets quarterback. Highsmith, who was a key player on defense before his injury, could be the catalyst Pittsburgh's defense needs to limit one of the best quarterbacks in history. The Jets will have to face the Steelers without their top two cornerbacks, DJ Reed and Michael Carter. This opens up a big window for Russell Wilson to explore the passing game and test the depth of the Jets defense. Without Reed, who has been known to neutralize opposing receivers, the job of guarding George Pickens and Deontay Johnson will be more difficult. This could be the perfect opportunity for the Steelers' offense to show what it can do. Russell Wilson will have the opportunity to attack a weakened secondary and dictate the pace of the game. But the big question is, can the Steelers take advantage of these absences or will the Jets find a way to make up for the losses? Steelers wide receiver Roman Wilson was establishing himself as a valuable option on offense before he was injured in practice this week. His absence changes the Steelers' game plan, especially on deep passes. Without his speed to stretch the field, the Jets' defense will have to focus more on covering George Pickens and Deontay Johnson. It will be interesting to see how head coach Mike Tomlin adjusts the offense. Perhaps we will see a greater emphasis on the run game, or even more involvement from the tight ends. Wilson's absence raises questions about how Russell Wilson will distribute the ball without one of his most dynamic targets on the field. Not only will Aaron Rodgers be without some of his key defensive pieces, but he will also be without tackles Max Mitchell and Carter Warren. The Jets' already overworked defensive line will now have to deal with intense pressure from Alex Highsmith and TJ while without two key starters. This combination could be disastrous for Rodgers who will need to get the ball out quickly to avoid being sacked repeatedly. Protection will be a key factor if the Jets are to have any chance of keeping their offense going. Rodgers has proven himself a master at adjusting under pressure, but how far can he go without the protection he needs against a relentless Steelers defense? Corderell Patterson, known for his versatility, will be out for this game, which weakens the Steelers' multitasking offense. Patterson is a unique piece capable of playing multiple roles on offense and as a kick returner. His absence could limit the options for surprise plays and screen plays, which have been a part of Pittsburgh's success. Without Patterson, the responsibility increases for Najee Harris and Jalen Warren, who will need to carry the running game 
and keep the offense balanced. Can they handle the load without the dynamism Patterson brings to the game? That's an area the Jets could try to exploit. The Steelers' defense also has its own challenges, as safety Damon Akazi will be unavailable for the matchup against the Jets. Kazi is a player who provides security deep in the defense, especially in deep passing situations. Without him, the Steelers' secondary will need to rely on other pieces to contain Rodgers and Adams. Kazi's absence could mean more pressure on Minka Fitzpatrick, who already plays a crucial role on defense. It will be interesting to see how the Steelers adapt their coverage without one of their top defenders. Rodgers will certainly look to exploit that hole, testing the depth and resilience of Pittsburgh's defensive system. The Jets' running attack will suffer from the absence of running back Izzy Abanacanda, who was emerging as an explosive option. Without him, the burden of the running game will fall on the shoulders of Brees Hall, who has already had strong performances this season. However, the lack of a reliable rotation could limit the Jets' offensive balance. Abanacanda has brought a change of pace to the running game, and without him, the Steelers' defense will have to focus its efforts on stopping Hall. With a weakened defensive line, how will the Jets maintain an effective running game against one of the most physical defenses in the league? With so many key players out, the dynamics of the Steelers-Jets game have changed dramatically. The absence of Roman Wilson and Corderell Patterson on the Steelers' side, coupled with the critical losses from the Jets' defense and offensive line, leaves the matchup wide open. The key to victory may lie in whoever adapts best to these absences and takes advantage of their opponent's weaknesses. With Russell Wilson ready to exploit a weakened secondary and Alex Highsmith back to lead the charge on Rodgers, the Steelers may have a slight advantage. However, one can never underestimate Rodgers' ability to turn adversity into opportunity. The stage is set for an unpredictable battle. Who do you think will come out on top? Leave your comment and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest Pittsburgh Steelers analysis.